At Wilbur Labs, we launch several companies every year. That requires building a solid pipeline of ambitious startup ideas. Our research and development team has generated and vetted hundreds of ideas, and we have refined our process along the way. Today, we have three primary approaches to generate startup ideas. Build for the future, solve existing problems better, and solve personal problems. The future isn't static. It's built by people who have a vision for what the future should look like and are willing to work hard and take risks to get there. A great way to get startup ideas is to sit down and think about what you think the future should look like. What needs to be built to bring that into reality? Long-term trends are not just about technological advances, but behavioral and societal changes we see taking shape all around us. In 2008, we had the technology to enable rideshare and rental homes to scale, but the behavioral changes, being comfortable getting in a stranger's car or staying in a house across the country instead of a name brand hotel, were equally as necessary as the technology for their success. Often when you bring up the future, people imagine experiencing it as a passive participant. Instead, start thinking about the future as something you can actively build. Breaking that down further, ask yourself these questions. What long-term problems do you see around you now? How are behaviors changing? What are people doing now that they weren't doing five, 10 years ago? And what new behaviors do you think we'll see in another five or 10 years? What new problems can technology solve today? What do people want to spend their time doing? What are they actually spending their time doing? In addition, the pandemic accelerated many of the trends we are seeing. As these new consumer expectations emerge and evolve, there are significant opportunities for founders to get ahead of the curve and address these. At Wilbur Labs, we're boosting investment in industries where we see long-term trends playing out. And the key phrase here is long-term. The best ideas can be built into big, sustainable businesses that can solve problems and create value over the long term. Ideas with a short expiration date are not going to be worth the time. Our second approach is solving existing problems better. This means not only thinking about new challenges and problems to solve, but taking a closer look at areas that are already being solved by other companies. Ask yourself this. Do those companies really have the best solution? Is there no room for improvement? Do their customers rave about their product or services? Or do they just put up with them because that's the only solution available? Google did not invent the search engine, Apple didn't invent the smartphone, and Henry Ford did not invent the car. What these companies did was provide a better way to build those products and ensure a better overall experience for their customers. We call this creating a 10x experience. If you have an idea and someone says, doesn't so-and-so already do that? Instead of throwing away your idea, first decide if there's an opportunity to 10x the experience. As an example, one of our portfolio companies, BarkBus, started at a time when there were already countless dog grooming companies. The BarkBus team has been able to scale super quickly by creating a 10x experience that comes to your doorstep, removing stress for pets and pet parents. The point is, don't be afraid of competing in what you consider to be an occupied space. Competitors to us are a good sign. It means there's a real customer need that they're working to fulfill. The third approach to getting startup ideas is solving a personal problem. What is a problem that you have faced or someone you personally know is facing? What would you do to solve it? Many of the best startup ideas emerge from personal problems that the founder faced. If you experience a problem, then you're well positioned to solve it. Envision the outcome you wish you had happen and figure out how many other people face this same problem. If you experience a problem, chances are others are experiencing it too. For example, at Wilbur Labs, we had quarterly company offsites where we would book a vacation rental to get the team together in a different city and our rental searches took hours of planning and work. We were looking for the ideal place at the best price, and we had to go site after site after site. It was a huge pain, 
So we got excited about building a company that brings together all the best options in one place and ultimately launched Vacation Renter. The platform became the fastest growing travel startup ever, generating over a billion dollars in gross bookings just a few years after launch. Our frustration wasn't unique and other people were looking for a better alternative. So now you have several potential business ideas. How do you tell which are the good ones? Firstly, no matter how good an idea is, we believe that ideas alone are worthless unless you take the initiative to execute. That said, at Wilbur Labs, we do believe the best startup ideas check a few boxes. First, solves a problem. Could your idea solve a large problem and have a positive impact on a significant number of people? Second, build a sustainable business. Can the idea be turned into a business that eventually generates cash flows and creates value over the long term? And finally, uniquely positioned. Are you uniquely positioned to solve that problem and do you want to dedicate five to 10 years of your life solving it? As you make your list of startup ideas, focus on the ideas which can solve a large problem for others, create value over the long term, and where you're uniquely positioned to solve the problem.